I wrote letters to each of my sons. And I started out by saying, I know everything's going to be fine, but I just wanted to tell you. And so I just told them how I felt about them and how proud I was of them. And if anything did happen, what I wish for them for the rest of their life. In 2016, I started having ringing in my ears. In 2020, I had started having a little bit of a balance issue, just a little, a little stumble here and there. In the fall of 2020, I was having some neck pain. I thought I was just, it's part of getting older. I went to visit my orthopedist and he ordered an MRI. And it was at that point that the acoustic neuroma showed up on that MRI. So I had stayed up all night, my husband and I both, researching what acoustic neuroma was. I wanted to have all my information before I panicked. You know, it's a brain tumor. I'm going to find out the best place to go. I found the Acoustic Neuroma Association first. It said find a provider near you and Vanderbilt came up and that immediately put me at ease because I'm from Tennessee and I know Vanderbilt's the best. Growing up, if anybody had anything wrong with them, you go to Vanderbilt. They have an online form to fill out to be contacted by Vanderbilt, and so my husband filled it out, and within 24 hours, Jeremy called me. He's the patient care coordinator. He immediately just set us up with appointments to come, and we were seen within 10 days. My name's Kareem Taufik, and I'm a neurotologist and skull-based surgeon. Her tumor was 2.6 or 2.7 centimeters, so a little bit over an inch in uh, maximum diameter. Acoustic neuromas are in this area, underneath this part of the brain, and they come from an area around the brainstem on one of the vestibular nerves. It looked like a golf ball pressing into my brainstem. I can't believe I have this in my body and didn't know it. For Andrea, we knew that with her size and how active she was, really surgery was the best option. I was just ready to get it over with. I was ready to go on, have the surgery, start recovery, and move on. We were on our way down for the pre-op appointments, and I get a phone call, and it's a 615 area code, so I was like, okay, this is probably the hospital calling about something. It was Dr. Tofik, and he said, hey, haven't seen you, talked with you in a while, just checking in, what are you up to? That's something that I often do for my patients. I think it's good for them to hear from me, and it's good for, for me to hear from them, to make sure that they're ready and they're in a good state of mind. We just talked for about five minutes and he definitely put me at ease. I'd never had a physician do that. One of the biggest challenges is that when these tumors are large, they can stick against the nerve that supplies facial nerve function. You know, we were able to remove almost the entire tumor. We left a very small sliver that you can barely see on the MRI over the facial nerve. In Andrea's case, she had some temporary mild weakness that very quickly recovered after surgery. Surgery went great. I was in the hospital for three days and came home. I made it fine. And just am thankful that everything worked out in the best way possible. In August, I had my six months checkup and MRI. Before each MRI, I think it will always be on my mind. Is it gonna come back? Is it there? Statistically, it probably is not gonna come back, but I just am ready to get that MRI, have that reassurance. We love seeing our patients post-op. My goal is to have them go on and, and live their life and you know do everything that they wanna do. They definitely made me feel just like I was the only patient in there, that all of the attention was on me. It definitely made me aware to be more present in the moment, to just live each day. Don't worry about what's gonna to come tomorrow because you don't know, but just try to enjoy and live in the moment. It's funny because everybody, when I tell them that I went to Vanderbilt, everybody goes, oh. It has a reputation of being the best. <laughs>